Okay, I am home from immunotherapy and radiation, and I figured before I put my chemo bag away, I would do an updated what's in my chemo bag video. So I am guilty of, in the beginning, packing hella stuff, like way too much stuff, and I've, I've narrowed it down, and you don't need to drag a lot of stuff. Just put stuff in there that you find useful. So let's go through it. Okay, so number one, the bag. It's just a basic tote bag. My friend, Jen, who is the bestest friend in the whole wide world, contacted Chemo Bags of Hope here in Western Washington and got me signed up for a bag. And it came with a whole bunch of goodies and it was, it was so nice. So thank you again, Jen. And then this breast cancer pin, my brother actually got for me. And so I put it on here. I have earplugs. Uh, I just got these at Dollar Tree and I I love them. I use them for sleeping sometimes if like the kids are being loud or if it's windy outside or my husband's snoring. I love earplugs, but yeah, I just got these at Dollar Tree and I bring them with me and I keep them in my bag because my infusion center is like gen pop. We don't have individual rooms. Um, it's just a huge room and there's six pods and each pod has four recliners. Um, yeah, with all the beeping of everybody's machines going off, most of the time I couldn't, I couldn't get any sleep. So I loved the earplugs. <laughs> My cancer center has free snacks available and I will admit, um, I love me some food, but they got a little played out. So I do like to carry some of my own snacks in here, but I did take these today. I was going to eat them there, but I never got around to it. Um, I brought a book. I haven't started yet. I've been meaning to start this and I figured at the cancer center, I've got nothing better to do, but I still haven't started it because instead I was editing TikToks. And headphones are super helpful if you are a headphone person. Um, I personally have AirPods. I mean, just bring any headphones that you have. Um, like I said, it can get kind of loud in there. And that way, if you want to use your phone or your tablet, you can actually hear what you're listening to. Obviously, I bring my phone. I always have my purple throw blanket that my friend Amy got me, which is so thoughtful. And I have taken this to every single chemo and uh, immunotherapy. It's been great. I always get compliments on it. And I always go, thank you, my friend Amy got it for me, which is super cool. Again, my cancer center has blankets available, but they are the thin, not so soft hospital blankets that have been washed like a gazillion times. And so I just prefer to have my own blanket. So that was super nice to have and I still take it to my immunotherapy appointments um so like this is a prime example of stuff I don't need um I've got a pen uh I've got uh an eye mask to be honest nobody in there uses eye masks we just conk out I have a battery pack for recharging my phone um I have never had to use it, but my husband got it for me for Christmas because I started chemo January 5th. And um, when I first started chemo, the chemo days were like six hours long. And so he got me a six foot phone charger and the battery pack because we weren't sure if I was gonna have an outlet near my uh, recliner. I have tissues in here that I've never used. I have snacks that I bring from home just in case I don't want what the cancer center is offering. I have, I have a barf bag because in the very beginning, you know, you don't know if you're going to be one of the unfortunate people that ends up getting nauseous from chemo. Thankfully, I never did. But there was one time where I had a migraine that was super bad and I was not going to delay chemo. So I pushed myself and I went to that appointment anyways. And I was in the back seat of my parents' car um, holding this bag like, dear God, please don't allow me to throw up. I really didn't want to throw up, but um, luckily I got there okay. Um, but it's nice to have a barf bag. 
I ordered a big stack of these from Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, like I said, I didn't know if I was going to need them. Uh, and they have been handy. Um, but your cancer center will have these. So don't feel obligated to buy them. You could always just take one and keep it in your bag if you need it. My friend Amy got me the same one that gave me the blanket. Her, this is a Yelm Rocks rock. And it says, be brave. And her kids gave it to her when she was going through um, a treatment, not chemo, but she went to the same infusion center and her kids gave her this and she took it to every single appointment. And so I have taken it to every single one of mine and obviously you gotta be brave. And so I really appreciate that, Amy. I am still taking it with me cause I am not done yet. So when I'm done, I'm gonna pass this along to somebody else that needs it. My cancer center also has these little peanut butter Jif to goes. I love them. So usually on my chemo days or my now infusion days, cause I'm done with chemo. Oh my God, that ice cream man. I swear to God, you guys, you guys are my witness. That ice cream man, I swear every time I start recording, he pops in my neighborhood. Anywho. I like to grab one of these from the little snack basket that they have. And what I will do is before chemo, I will um, wash an apple and cut it up into slices, put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, I like the, let me just show you. I love this stuff, uh, Ball brand Fruit Fresh. Yeah, Fruit Fresh Produce Protector. Prevents browning and protects flavor for fresh cut produce. I love it. Um, I think I got it at Walmart. It was probably like $3 or something. It lasts for forever. But what I do is I will cut up my apple and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, you just sprinkle a little bit of this in there and add like a teaspoon of water and, you know, shake the bag around and it covers all of your apples. And that way it doesn't get brown and yucky looking. Um, I've tried the lemon juice hack and I love lemons and I love lemonade, but I don't want my apples to taste like lemons. And so I will just sit there getting my immunotherapy or my chemo and watching my videos and eating my peanut butter and apples. And it's so yummy. I love this stuff. Highly recommend. Today they had free shampoo, free, free shampoos, free samples on the radiation side. So I picked up one of these Ensure Shakes. I'm gonna give that a whirl. And then last but not least, I have, I have duckies. Some of you may remember from my uh, last chemo video. Um, I got these little tiny duckies from Amazon. What I was doing during chemo is like uh, hiding them all over the infusion center whenever I got a chance. I would leave one in the bathroom. I would put it on like the vitals cart where they have a little cart. Um, so when the nurse walked away, I would like toss one in there. Um, I would like hide one behind the curtains and stuff. So it was just fun. I mean, so it's an idea if you're dreading going to chemo, make it fun. You know, order little tiny things from Amazon and then like hide them all over the place. It puts a smile on your face. It puts a smile on whoever finds its face. So yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. Get yourself some little duckies. And yeah, that is it for my chemo bag. So yeah, don't feel obligated to drag around a bunch of crap. Just bring a few necessary items to make you comfortable and go from there. You can always add on or take away. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.